See, what y'all don't know, or y'all must have forgot, like Roy Jones, is I got videos with major heavy hitters, you heard? Tony Ayo. You heard? Conway. Conway, I'm sorry. West Side Gun, I'm sorry. I don't want to hear nothing else about it. You heard? Watch my video with Jada Kiss. Swag on Pluto. Fire. MTV action was on that. You heard? Watch my video with Jim Jones. MTV action was on that. Y'all got to do the history on the kid LAZ. You heard? If you need them rap collabs, get at me, bro. I got you for the low. You heard? Make sure y'all check my new video with my bro Foul. You heard Fort Green in a building was populated. You heard Brownsville, Brooklyn on deck. It's called Brooklyn Thug Ish. And it's fire, you heard? And I filmed this whole video with my iPhone 13 Pro. Cause I'm nasty like that. If you need a video, holla at me. You wanna collab with me on a song or a video? Just for the record, man, you feel what I'm saying? I ain't no anti-gay type of nigga. And, 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 and basically, I don't give a fuck what you do with your dick, nigga. If you want to stick your dick in a motherfucking piranha tank, you can stick your dick in a piranha tank, nigga. I don't care what you stick in your dick in. But I'm just saying, this was like 1994. You heard? 1995. Maybe like 1995, right? So like I told y'all before, remnants of the story, um, I was in Franklin. And Franklin at the time, Franklin is a lot different now than it was when I was there. When I was there, it was a straight adult facility. Like I said, I was one of the youngest dudes in there, right? So I'm going to keep it real. It was heavy, like I told you, it was heavy Buddha tree going on, bro. Heavy Buddha tree, you heard? It was crazy. So it's like, you ain't know who was messing around, who wasn't messing around. You feel what I'm saying? And... It was a little scary, man, because you feel what I'm saying? You may think you know a dude, but at night, he G.I. Joe, you heard? And, and why I used to call dudes G.I. Joe is because dudes be like an army, a army man. You know that green, you know them green army men used to get when you was a kid? I'm downtown Brooklyn, Fulton Street. You know them little green army men you used to get as a kid? And one of them come like it's crawling on the floor, right? That's why I used to call dudes G.I. Joe because at nighttime, you know, it's cubes in the dorm. So basically, the only way you can see somebody is if they're standing up. If they're not standing up, you can't see what's going on in the cubes. You can only hear what's going on. You heard? So at nighttime, everybody be in a bad sleep. Now I mean, uh, it was certain dudes in the dorm that they was low with it with they Buddha tree. You feel what I'm saying? So they would be G.I. Joe at nighttime crawling like the little green army man to try to get to certain cubes so they could run up in things you feel what i'm saying so that shit used to annoy me because dudes be fronting like bro listen i know dudes that i was up north with that they'll just tell you straight up and down yo listen i get down know what i mean I, I i mess around and if you don't like that stay away from me you understand what I'm saying? Because I'm letting you know how I get down. You feel me? But then you had dudes that will look you in your face and be like, nah, I don't, I don't get down like that. And they do get down like that. And that was that's what was annoying me. So I started blowing up dudes' spot. You feel what I'm saying? When dudes was starting to, when dudes was, when I used to be in my cube, because like I said, me and my bro Saquon, we used to be up all night telling, telling Brooklyn stories and stuff like that. Know what I mean? Um, in his cube, three, four in the morning, we wasn't supposed to be doing that. Police would be beefing about that, but then you had certain police, they fucked with us, so they be like, y'all niggas ain't, they ain't starting no trouble, they just in there running their mouth all night, you feel me? So we used to just be in a nigga cube. So while we in the, while we in a nigga say call cube, I used to just be hearing niggas creeping around, my nigga. Sometimes I be in my cube, you feel me? And I just be hearing niggas creeping around, bro. You heard? Niggas is on the floor like G.I. Joe. So now I mean I had I had a couple of uh I had a couple of anthems that I would sing when I caught a dude or heard a dude creeping like G.I. Joe. I had a couple of anthems, bruh. So you know, one of my first anthems, one of my main anthems, when I heard a dude creeping, I would just be like, you know, the old school uh song for G.I. Joe. 
and I heard a nigga creeping, I'll just be like, it be, I'll be in my cube, it be late night, three in the morning, They everybody think everybody asleep, you heard? So dudes be creeping around, trying to creep up in, trying to creep up in different cubes doing their thing, and I'll be in my cube reading a book, and I'll just hear a dude, I'll hear something moving and creeping, I'll just be like, G.I. Joe, a real American hero. G.I. Joe. You heard? You just hear niggas running. You hear niggas running, scattering, trying to go back to their cube. You heard? That's my word, son. Niggas in the dorm used to be crying. You heard? Soon as I, soon as I sing that shit, you just hear mad clutter of niggas trying not to get caught and run back to their cube. You heard? Shit was funny. So basically, basically, I, I, was, I was making it hard. I was making it hard for dudes who was engaging in booterometry. You feel what I'm saying? Come on, man. Don't tell me Blimpies is closed. I'm walking all the way the fuck over here for nothing. You heard? But like, yeah, I was making it rough for niggas who was dealing with booty booterometry. You feel what I'm saying? So dudes ain't like me. Dudes ain't like me because I was blowing up the spot, my nigga. G.I. Joe, American hero. Yeah, dudes start wanting to get out of my crib because they couldn't really deal with um they couldn't de they couldn't really deal with that boot bootarometry with me in there because I was blowing it up all day every day. You feel what I'm saying? So you know, I would let dudes rock for a couple of days. I act like I ain't I ain't on it no more. I let dudes creep around for a couple of days. All right, do you, bro? You understand what I'm saying? Then I'll just wait till it's a late night. Where dudes think, you know, I done let my guard down. And dudes is, you know, feeling they could do what they want to do again. And a dude would be creeping. I'd be in my cube and I just hear the noise. I hear I hear the ruffling of clothes. You understand what I'm saying? And whispering and stuff like that. Dudes be creeping, you heard? So you know, back in the days, it was this, it was this toy that was out like in the, in the late 80s, early 90s called Creepy Crawlers, right? It was like some insect or whatever and they and they actually crawl or whatever. So, you know, I always remembered that slogan of Creepy Crawlers, right? So, I mean, that, that theme song of Creepy Crawlers. So, you know, I would wait till niggas, I would wait till niggas get comfortable. Niggas start creeping around like it's sweet again. You heard? I be in my cube late night studying my lessons or whatever. I hear niggas creeping. I just be like, creepy crawlers. You heard? That was the theme song. Creepy crawlers. So I used to do that. You just hear niggas running. You heard? Niggas be in the dorm laughing. Oh, yo, this nigga crazy. You heard it be three in the morning. They think the whole dorm be out. Half of most of the dorm is out. It'd be like five of us still up. So the creepy crawlers, them niggas think they think it's they think it's safe. You feel me? Them niggas be like this. Boom, 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 boom. You feel me? Them niggas be mission impossible, creeping like this. Boom, 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 Niggas thinking they creeping into the motherfucking, uh, to the boys' cube and all of that. Nah, nigga. Not with LAZ in the building, you heard? So anytime it be late night, I hear niggas creeping around, my shit just be like, creepy crawlers. You heard? Niggas be running, son. Niggas be running, my nigga. I was the police. You heard? I was the motherfucking, I was the booty police, nigga, in my dorm. Y'all niggas ain't doing that. You want to go to, you want to do that shit, you got to go to another dorm, my nigga. Because if I catch you creeping, like the green, the green army man, I'm either going to hit you with that G.I. Joe, American hero. Either I'm going to hit you with that, or I'm going to hit you with that creepy crawlers, or... At the time, TLC had that song, Creep. Yeah, yeah. So I would hit niggas with that too. And I got a story about that Creep TLC video that I'm going to do next. That's the next story I'm going to do. It's called the T-Bars Titty. You heard? So if I wasn't hitting niggas with the G.I. Joe or the 
creepy crawlers. I was hitting niggas with the, so I creep. Yeah, yeah, just keep it on the down low, cause nobody's supposed to know. You heard? Son, it was difficult, son. I made it difficult for the booty rangers, my dude. I'ma keep it real with you. The booty pirates? I made it difficult for them, bruh. You heard? So dudes was getting up out my dorm. Dudes was going to another dorm, son. They wasn't trying to fuck with me, you heard? I was blowing up the spot. I'm gonna keep it real with you. But yeah, man, I'm downtown Brooklyn, you heard? BK, I'm out here, Dolo. You heard? About to go get me some eats or something, nigga. I actually walked all the way down here to Blimpy's, and Blimpy's is not open. That shit got me mad, my nigga. I had my mouth, had my mouth all set for that Blimpy's. That oil and vinegar with the onions and that soft Blimpy bread. That was on my mind, bro. I was driving from uptown with that shit on my mind, like Blimpy, Blimpy, you heard? I get all the way down here, shit closed, bro. Come on, my nigga. My nigga's doing too much and too little at the same time. Word up. So I guess I'm going to go in this bum-ass Panda Express. If I go in there and they don't have the vegetarian, uh, 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 Beyond Meat or whatever the hell they got, I'm tweaking. I'm letting you know. I'm tweaking. But yeah, man, LAZ, Z-Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man. I mean, I'm downtown Brooklyn, Fulton Street. Holla at me, man. So, yeah, these is just two little short jail stories that I'm blending together. You feel me? They wasn't long enough to make a whole episode about each. You heard pause, but yo. Yeah, man, so about this T-Bar's titty. You know what I mean? At the time we was in Franklin... TLC dropped that video for Creep, you heard? Now, <laughs> now, in this video, I don't know if they knew about it. I don't know if it was done purposely. I don't know if it was an editing mistake. I don't know. But I do know that there is a scene in the TLC creep video where for a split second where you could see a small glimpse of T Boz's titty. No disrespect to T Boz, no disrespect to um I don't know if she's still with Mac 10, no disrespect to Mac 10. No disrespect to T-Bars, because I love T-Bars. I'm a big fan, one of the biggest fans. You feel what I'm saying? But we was locked up. We was in the can, bro. You heard? And we was thirsty. When I say thirsty, I mean thirsty. You heard? So when we found out that in that video, when they show that slow motion shot, you know what I mean? I'm gonna look the other way and y'all figure out what time the shot is. But um, when they show that slow motion shot and you know, they had like the silk pajamas on and they was dancing with the silk pajamas. Yo, bro, we seen that. We seen that slight breast shot. We was like, oh my God. You heard? We was like, oh my God. Is that an actual breast? shot of T-Bars in that creep video. Bro, the whole jail went crazy. You heard? The whole jail was talking about it. Yo, you saw that shot? Hey, yo, y'all niggas saw that shot? Yo, I'm going in the crib to watch MTV Jams, man. Word up, man. Know what I mean? I'm watching that on repeat, nigga. They showing that video all day, nigga. Niggas be lined up in the day room, bro. Word to everything I love. You heard? In my dorm, anytime the creep video came on, Niggas go running, niggas go running, niggas cubes, wake niggas up. Yo, yo, hey yo, yo, that creep video is on. Niggas be like this, word, all right, I'm coming. Niggas be in the day room like this. Oh, yo, there it is right there. That was it. Woo. You heard? Bro, niggas was open. You heard? Niggas was writing love letters to T-Bars fan club. Like this, T-Bars, yo, I love you. I mean, if you come visit me, my DIN number's 93A. Yo, real talk, bro. Niggas was, niggas was obsessed. 
That video was on rotation every day like 10 times a day, my nigga. You heard? Niggas be mad at you if you ain't wake them up. Niggas be like, yo, hey, yo, they played the video? Yeah, they played that shit twice. Nigga, what the fuck you ain't wake me up? Come on, son, you sleep. Nigga, it's fucking 8 in the morning. Like, you sleep. Yo, I don't give a fuck, my nigga. Wake me the fuck up, nigga. You know I want to see that shit. Yo, bro, when I tell you, niggas was thirsty, son. Niggas was thirsty, son. My whole dorm, when that video came on, niggas was standing under the TV, my nigga, like... Niggas was standing under the TV like wolves, my nigga. Like niggas was motherfucking dangling meat bars above some wolves' heads. Niggas was like this. You know, the TV is on the wall. Niggas like this. Oh, there it go. There it go. There it go. You heard? Real talk, my nigga. Niggas was open, bro. Niggas was open, my nigga. You know what I mean? But nah, man, I love TLC. I was the TLC was the shit. You feel what I'm saying? TLC was the shit. I had that crazy, sexy, cool. I had that album in the can. You heard? I was banging that shit in the can, my nigga. You heard? I was. I wasn't just listening to gangster rap. I had that TLC album. I had that Janet Jackson um album. I forgot which album that was. That joint with any time, any place. Uh. Don't care who's around. That's my joint. You heard? I used to have that on repeat all day. But that T bar, I mean that um that TLC album, phenomenal, bro. Every song on that album, that crazy sexy cool album, every song on that album is bananas. You feel what I'm saying? But um, yeah, man. T bars had niggas fucked up, bro. T bars had niggas fucked up in the game, my nigga. You heard? Niggas was niggas was in the day room watching that shit for eight, nine hours watching videos, waiting for that shit to come on. Like eventually that shit got to a point where it was like, yo, come on, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Like that shit old already. And he's like, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck, nigga. That's my that's my baby, nigga. That's my baby mother, nigga. You heard? Cause you know up north niggas used to be able to put um, you know, they little pictures on their cubes, whoever you fuck with, like me, like niggas be trying to have niggas be Niggas be trying to have it the most exotic, like, different broad that other niggas had. Like, some niggas used to lace their cue with the Jet Magazine Beauty of the Weeks. You feel what I'm saying? I used to have Mad Beauty of the Weeks on my shit. Then niggas started biting my swag. Now I mean? I went to Tyra Banks. You heard? My mom used to send me Sports Illustrated. So I used to be mad, crazy pictures of um, Tyra Banks. This was before niggas even knew who Tyra Banks was like that, my nigga. She was just on her model shit. I had my whole... Cube wall covered with Tyra Banks. You heard niggas be coming to my cube. Yo, who that son? I'd be like, oh, that's that broad Tyra Banks, son. She bad. Word up. Niggas used to be open. Then niggas started biting my swag with Tyra Banks. I start seeing niggas pop up with a little Tyra Banks. And I'm like, oh, come on, son. You heard? That niggas ain't been putting Tyra Banks on your shit. You heard? But, um, yeah, man. Um, who else I had on my shit, man? Who else I had? Janet. Um, Damn, I had Kim. I had Kim with that infamous picture. Her album cover with her squatting. That shit was. That shit had the whole. That shit had the whole up up north, nigga. That shit had the whole New York State open. That album cover. You feel what I'm saying? Yo, bro, listen. In jail, it's different. You heard? We t we take a titty more seriously in jail, bro. You know what I mean, in the streets, niggas probably ain't give a fuck about that shit. You heard? But up north. That shit was world news. Niggas was sending kites to niggas in other jail. Yo, son, I mean, I'm just writing to let you know that. Now I mean, in two minutes and 14 seconds into T bars, into the new TLC video. Now I mean, you get a glimpse of T bars joint. You heard? Now I mean, thank me later, nigga. Holler at me. You heard? That shit was spreading around the state, nigga. Niggas was coming to other jails. Yo, yo, y'all niggas, niggas coming to the jail. Niggas are red. Niggas like, yo, y'all niggas is up on yeah, and you know niggas is up on that. Oh, all right, all right, I'm just making sure y'all niggas know. Know what I mean? That shit was like, I remember one time, word to everything I love, my nigga. Word to everything I love. One time, because you know, um, jail, they got like basic cable. You heard? They got like basic cable. So it's like, 
at one time it wasn't none of that shit my nigga it was just tv shit was crazy like they know putting that cable in stops a lot of violence and shit because niggas be watching mtv jams and det jams and shit like that instead of popping off all day you feel me so they know what they doing with that shit but um one time i promise you my nigga i just remembered this shit while i'm telling this story right now the motherfucking porn channel came in by mistake my nigga, we in the dorm with niggas who got 15, 16 years in, my nigga. The motherfucking porn channel came in, son. When I tell you niggas lost their motherfucking minds, son, niggas lost their minds, my nigga. You heard? That shit stayed on for like four hours in the whole jail. This was like 95 in Franklin. Word to everything I love, son. Niggas was coming in the day room with they blanket butt naked. Niggas was butt naked with a blanket over them like this. Yo, my brothers. Niggas was making public service announcements. Yo, my brothers, no disrespect. I don't want to disrespect anybody, but I need to hit off to this. Nobody had a problem with it. Niggas was like, yo, I, I, yeah, I, ain't, I ain't got nothing to say. Niggas was like, I ain't got nothing to say, my nigga. Do you. Word to everything I love. Niggas was coming in the day room with a whole blanket on butt naked, my nigga. Under the blanket. Police was understanding and everything. Police niggas was like, yo, do you. I'm going to look the other way. Bro, that shit was on for like four hours before they shut it down. Niggas done, niggas done hit off like 50 times. Niggas was drained. By the time they took that porn channel off, Niggas is walking around dorm like this. <sighs> Yo, I ain't going to the yard, son. I ain't going to the yard. I, I, I ain't, I'm good, son. I ain't going to the mess hall or nothing. Son, niggas was drained, son. Niggas' energy was gone, son. The most disciplined niggas. The most disciplined niggas, workout niggas. Niggas who act like they don't give a fuck. They don't miss pussy. They'll be all right. Son, when that porn channel came in, son... Niggas was in the day room looking the other way like they ain't see other niggas, my nigga. Niggas was putting their chair with their blanket. Niggas like, yo, excuse me, my brother. Niggas was giving niggas their space. My nigga, niggas was going in, you heard? Shit was, shit was whack a mania. You know that game that you play in the motherfucking game, in the game spots? Whack a mole? Nigga, that shit was whack a mole up in that motherfucker, my nigga. You heard? That shit was a whacknophobia. Cause niggas was whacking. Niggas was whacking heavy. That shit was crazy. You heard? But yeah, when that shit went off, niggas was mad, son. Niggas came to cause how the channel was set up, you could hear it a little bit and it'd be it be, you know, scrambled out. But one day niggas might have upgraded the package by mistake or something. That shit just came in crystal clear. Niggas was like, niggas came and got me in the, in, the, in the day room. I mean, in the dorm, like, yo, yo, yo. The porn channel was on. I was like, come on, bro, stop playing with me. Niggas like, yo, son, the porn channel was on, son. They fucked up. It's on. Come on. Son, I ran up in that shit. I was like, oh, shit. Son, I was 17 years old, my nigga. 17 years old, son. You already know. I ain't going to go into details. But let's just say... It got wacky. <laughs> Let's just say it got a little wacky. You heard? Shit was crazy, my nigga. You can't put no porn channel on for no incarcerated motherfuckers with 10 years in and five, six years in. Niggas lost their brains, son. You heard? Niggas lost their brains, my nigga. But yeah, I'm just saying, man. I'm just telling my little short jail stories, you heard? Z, man. Suicide Polo with the ski, man. Get at me.